Hey everyone, Matron here, bringing you another StarCraft II commentary, this time a caster for Strategy Gaming's channel, and I'm kicking off a Vile Spanishiwa week all week long on my channel Matron StarCraft on YouTube, and I wanted to start things off the right way with a ZVT here, with Vile Spanishiwa spawning as the Red Zerg, and his opponent will be the Blue Terran Renewal, spawning in the southern position on Shattered Temple. This is a laddered game, and Spanishiwa's been getting a lot of press, a lot of pub recently, just because he's a very creative player. He does things a little bit differently than most Zergs, where they like to get out early gas and get speed out early for their lings and just sort of control the middle of the field, make sure that they're denying any probes across, uh, any scouting, and just so they can counter quickly, Spanishua instead foregoes the gas, goes for a fast expansion, and then drones up very hard behind mass queens and spine crawlers. And at first when I saw this style, I was a little bit apprehensive about uh, how he was going to be able to handle many of the strong openings, the aggressive openings, which uh, the races have to uh, try to combat that uh, lack of speed in the early going. But Spanishua has done a pretty good job in all the games I've seen, and his style is actually revolutionizing the Zerg metagame a little bit, as I've seen his build on the ladder so far. What he's going to try to do is get down either a 13 or a 16 hatchery, and then just spend most of his larva on drones. He continues to produce queens until he's got four or five, sometimes even six. And then he'll throw down spine crawlers depending on how much pressure he feels may be coming in the early game, as it looks like he's going to be getting down this 16 hatchery here. And Spanishua has uh, been on the record now that most people know his build, know that he likes to go for this fast expansion with many drones. They've been blocking his hatchery at the natural with either engineering bay or sometimes pylon blocks if he's playing against Protoss. So he has been favoring the 13 hatchery a little bit more. He says it might be ec more economical as well as we see him get down his spawning pool and cross or very far positions here. We'll see if Renewal is going to be able to uh, apply any sort of pressure. He's got the one barracks showing he's got a second barracks actually hidden back here and Spanishua is not able to make it into the base of Renewal getting the supply depot up just in time and Spanishiwa's uh, Overlord going to be very late to be able to scout this second Rax. It looks like it's on a path heading towards the southern portion uh, to this high ground, so we'll get good scouting information uh, once it's there. It looks like the drones of Spanishiwa already defending a little bit, taking down that SCV, but I'm sure Renewal has uh, some sort of idea what Spanishiwa's build is going to be here. And again, he foregoes that gas until about uh, 36 to 40 supply, and then he throws down all four gas at once. So he wants to make sure he's got full saturation on his minerals on both the main and the natural. And then he's going to uh, tech up to tier 2 and then a very fast tier 3 as well. His tier 2 choice uh, or unit choice is typically in Fester, which is going to allow him to wrestle back map control, which he had given up a little bit. Oh my, looks like we have a third and a fourth racks on the way for renewal. So a lot of pressure is going to be coming here for Spanishua. Not sure how he's going to be able to handle it. He does not have any spines coming at this point, and he doesn't have any scouting information. So renewal, if he's able to hide these racks and hide these marines, uh, he might have get the surprise or get the jump on Spanishua here. Again, Spanishua is going to add those spine crawlers as he does feel pressure. So he's going to poke up here and just see two marines, and he may think this is actually a techie build. This is about the number of marines you might have if you were going for a 1-1-1 build. And now just showing two marines to take out the zergling. Beautiful, smart play by Renewal, hiding all these marines. Like I said before, the tier 2 uh, unit of choice for Spanishua is the Infester. And he's going to push out with those Infestors and wrestle back, back map control since he does give it up in the early going without speed on those lings. Now it looks like two spine crawlers are going down. He's got his third and fourth queen, and they will continue to spread creep. So he's going to be able to at least have creep for these lings and for the uh, the spine crawlers, as he does uh, defend against this massive number of reens. Looks like seven, uh, 14 already, and more and more coming out four at a time. Still no gas by renewal. So this is going to be a lot of pressure, and renewal again being very smart, not showing the number of marines he has. Uh, just using these three marines to clear off the zergling and he wants to hide this as long as possible and still just the two spine crawlers for Spanishua. He's going to continue to scout and uh, use that information to add more spines once he does feel the pressure coming. He's now into position with this overlord. He's going to see the second racks and it looks like some SCV is coming along with these uh, marines and 
Spanishua is going to see this, and it looks like more spine crawlers going down at least one, and more and more drones coming out. Check out the drone count. It is now 36 to 22. The gas have gone up, but the Marines and the SCVs are on the way across. 26 Marines and 23 SCVs, just a few SCVs back at home. So it looks like about 15 SCVs on the offensive here. And this is so much army for Spanishua to deal with. He's just got the four queens. They have some pretty high energy. It looks like they'll be able to do uh, about two transfuses here. And he's got these four spine crawlers. Spine crawlers very good with their two armor against Marines. But the Marines might be able to bypass the spine crawlers all together going up this ramp. And it looks like they're going to shoot and scoot their way in here, trying to take down Queens. A nice transfuse goes off on one Queen there. And Spanishua is going to lose all of his drones here. Might actually lose his main. He's got no units here, which can attack. The SCV is doing a nice job tanking damage for these Marines, making it so the drones cannot get a surround on the Marines. And now the pool will be focused down. So Spanishua in big trouble. On the production tab, it looks like he's got Lair about halfway done and another pool, I imagine, in his natural and trying to hide these drones. But the main hatchery will go down for Spanishua and he's going to try to get by with these drones. Again, he's got a ton of drones, many, many more than Renewal has SCVs. And Renewal has pulled a number of SCVs off uh, for this offensive here. Out come those broodlings trying to focus down a few SCVs. Looks like a few did go down. And now a number of drones were able to escape here. The spine crawlers have been repositioned to try to uh, take on these Marines as they do come down. The Queens could get some transfuses on these spine crawlers or on the Queens themselves. One Queen goes down, a second Queen goes down. Will that third? No, it looks like it's going to be pulled back. And now Renewal has done a ton of damage. You see Spinishiwa's uh, gas and minerals getting very high. And it is 32 harvesters to 23. And Renewal, I feel like, has to really continue this. It looks like he will. Trying to find a better angle away from those spine crawlers. Spinishiwa might have to uproot these and try to root them again. The fourth Queen does go down no queens on the field for spanishua finally coming out 20 zerglings and he's gonna have a lot of zerglings and drones the spine crawler is taking 10 full 12 full seconds to uh to actually burrow here focus down quickly by those marines again the scv is doing great a job tanking the damage for the marines and it looks like the second pool might actually go down so spanishio while losing two pools here if he loses this lair it is over he's got a lot of links still popping out he's got a few spine crawlers and now he might have to just a move into this with all of his drones and his lings to try to defend against this early push by renewal renewal in great position by these minerals he's gonna be able to hug up against them and prevent us around by those lings still just has a few scvs left looks like those took the most uh, the brunt of the attack from the spine crawlers and the queens. It looks like Spanishua just waiting at this point and he's gonna have to pick a moment to try to all in here, all in defend. And it looks like that might be just right now as Renewal has pushed down here. He's not in good position, need to stay behind those minerals and focus on that lair. It looks like a great surround by Spanishua with these links, taking down all these Marines. And it looks like the Marines will be finished up and the drones coming in here and they're gonna get back on their horse and start mining best that they can. 21 drones to 17 SCVs and two mules. Behind this, it looks like a factory is going up. Double gas for renewal and a second factory on the way. He's gonna be very safe. Spanishwa does not have speed. He has no baneling nest. So uh, it's gonna be difficult for him to bust through these supply depots as renewal can just repair them and shoot from the high ground. So it looks like Spanishwa was able to get his uh, main hatchery back up and running doing a bit of a transfer on drones and I wonder what he's going to be producing here looks like he's got an overseer uh, actually a few overseers looks like four overseers on the field uh, no queens coming up because the second pool did go down so Spanishua is just gonna drone up basically resetting here and the Terran is so far ahead Spanishua actually has five of overseers I think at this point so uh, it might be annoying here try to slow down the production of his Terran opponent and this is actually pretty brilliant he has lair and he has gas up he doesn't have a pool yet so what more can you do you make overseers and you just start contaminating these uh, factories so no siege tech no siege tank and no hellion coming out for renewal he's still got a ton of Marines and he might want to get a starport up and start pushing out medevacs and he could just push in uh, in just a few more minutes with a few medevacs he's still got these racks uh, not sure if he's producing off those looks like just three of them are being used at the moment but off of one base he really can't produce off of these six production uh, buildings looks like the ling still in the center trying to scout and the overseer pushing down here renewal doing a nice job 
again great positioning on the marines all game long and he's got him he's going to try to guard against the uh the contaminate one more contaminate does go down on that siege tech so that's going to be delayed such a long time contaminate does delay everything by a full 30 seconds so that's a full game minute that that siege tech has been delayed spanishua throwing up a number of spine crawlers more and it looks like he does not yet have a queen out so just droning up very hard and again he has this lair tech so he's got an infestation pit on the way and at this point, uh, he doesn't make many units at the start anyway, so it just sort of looks like a standard Spanishua game. And it looks like the US Overseer is getting quite low. One does go down. He does not actually have the speed for Overseers and Overlords yet, so they are very slow compared to what we usually see once you do see that many Overlords or Overseers out. So at this point, Spanishua now working on Pathogen Glands as well as Burrow, and finally getting that Metabolic Boost. That's a 15 minute mel uh, Zergling speed, pretty standard for him. And now we're going to see a very scary push by Renewal. He's got Siege Tech done, and he's got two tanks here, a number of Marines, and a Hellion as well. And Spanishua repositioning these Spine Crawlers might actually want to put that one on the high ground, as there are no Metavacs for high ground site for Renewal at this point. And these spine crawlers are just going to try to do their best, but they're not going to be able to stand up to these siege tanks. Again, with siege mode, he's going to be able to shell all these spine crawlers, doing bonus damage to the armored spine crawlers. And the marines can just move in whenever they feel like it. Pathogen glands almost done, and it looks like infestors, four of them will be coming out. So if renewal does not uh, hurry up here and take down these spine crawlers, then when the infestors do come out, some great fungals could take down all of those marines. So it looks like Spanishua doing a decent job defending at this point, trying to delay for those infestors. One queen getting out of the uh, out of the safety of that lair back there, and now it looks like the fungals will go down on these marines. A second fungal needs to go down, and yes, all those marines die instantly with two fungals. The siege tanks are still here, but 14 lings on the way to try to clean those up. Spanishua also has burrow, so he could throw some infested Terran down here as well. Looks like he's going to do just that. So he's going to try to throw an Infested Terran, and the Siege Tanks will just shell each other. One Siege Tank does go down, and a Scan trying to catch the other Infestors. An Infestor on the high ground it does have enough for a Fungal, so it can try to catch these Marines. But at this point, Mar uh, Renewal, once again, uh, his push has been stopped here, and that was a second scary push. I'm not really sure how Spanishua was able to defend against that. Great timing with those Infestors coming out and the sick Fungals. Renewal did not have a good spread on his Marines. And now we see an Infestor coming in. He's going to try to make trouble for Renewal. And the Siege Tank just shelling each other. A second shot going off. One tank does go down. And another about half health. So for just a little bit of energy and no Infestor de death, he's able to take down a tank. Now we do have Speedlings out on the field. They're going to be able to try to clean up any units as they do stream across the field. And again, without any medevacs here, Renewal is not going to be able to stim. He doesn't even have stim, and he's not going to be able to drop or be, uh, be very creative with his play. He's just got these slow, methodical siege tanks and unstim marines. Finally, it looks like we have another set of contaminates coming in here. All these overseers have plenty of energy to do it, but it looks like the factory and the starport weren't actually producing anything. So losing an overseer there for nothing, and Renewal has expanded behind this. So he's got a pretty good economy at this point, and double mules. He's got 35 SCVs to the 42 drones of Spanishua. Back in Spanishua's base, it looks like we have Neural Parasite, as well as some more Infestors, and finally Melee and uh, Carapace upgrades coming for Spanishua. When he does favor a lot of Lings and Infestors in the mid-game, he likes to have upgrades on those Lings. They're going to be able to do a lot better against Bio, as an Infestor does go down. I don't believe it was Burr there, taking a few shells from those Siege Tanks. Upgraded Lings do a lot better against Bio than unupgraded Lings. Uh, just because of the way that the, the fast attacking marines work, the armor does quite a bit for them. And now it looks like Spanishua are going to be moving down here with five infestors. A lot of energy on these infestors as well. It looks like we have at least five or six fungals, perhaps a few. Oh no, there's a missile turret here. So it looks like Renewal is going to be able to focus down all these infestors. Spanishua does not realize the missile turret was here. Oh no, and losing five infestors, a sixth before. And he's just not able to scout that missile turret. Perhaps should have sent in a few lings to make sure his opponent didn't have any detection. And Renewal reading Spanishua like a book. And again, at this point, many players know Spanishua's uh, 
builds on ladder so they're able to basically blind counter and without much scouting at all counter what he's going to be doing now i see a nice job here he's going to be placing these spine crawlers by his minerals and this is going to protect him against any sort of drop play so he's going to be able to keep those lings out on the field those infestors out on the field controlling midfield and not have to worry about leaving units at home to defend against drops these two uh, spine crawlers basically going to be one-shotting marines together as they do drop out of those medevacs same with the marauders and Spanishua at this point wrestles back map control he's got speedlings at each of the expansions and he still has these overseers here to come in and do some nice contaminate action he is about to get up the gold and he's working on the backdoor rocks perhaps to get up a fourth as well he's got the first level of upgrades for melee and carapace about to finish he's going to be able to immediately start the second round as he does have lair in production it looks like we have a hive coming as well and he's got these infestors out in front and he's going to try to use these uh, and the fact that he's got vision with this infested Terran to punish the Terran for moving across the field. And you see he's going to do just that, perhaps getting us a nice fungal there on those tanks. The infester does go down, but the tanks unsiege there to try to take down the infester. And now Link's going to move in and they're going to be able to get a surround on those tanks. Not many blue flame hellions at this point. So the links are going to be able to do very good with a 1-1 upgrade. And again, no upgrades for the bio of Renewal. So Ling's going to be doing very good against the Marines. Again, going to get a great surround on this tank. And if Spinishua is able to push in here with some Infestors as well, could get some great fungals on the SCVs of Renewal. Renewal doing a nice job with the uh, micro of the Hellion here. And the Hellion might be able to take down the last few Zerglings. And it looks like we have an Ultralisk Cavern about halfway done, as well as the melee attack level 2 and carapace level 2, which I was talking about. Those are oh so important, especially when your opponent doesn't have upgrades of his own. We see Renewal just now finishing his level 1 attack upgrade, but he lost a ton of tanks there. He lost that all-important midfield when he was trying to siege up and take that back from Spanishua. And now Spanishua has got four almost full energy infestors here, as well as a lot of speedlings. And he's got four Ultralisks on the way. So it looks like poking in here with these infestors going to send in the speedlings first to take that tank fire and a neural parasite on that siege tank let's see how much damage it's able to do it looks like we'll be focusing down all the bio of renewal and spanishua doing a sick job the zerglings were cleaned up quite easily there by renewal but a lot of damage done by spanishua and basically only lost those lings lings not uh gas units at all so Spanishua uses this gold he's going to be able to pump out more and more lings 24 26 28 on the way along with those five ultralisks and this is going to be a bear for uh, renewal to try to deal with he needs to get out more tanks to try to take down those ultras as they do do bonus damage against armored units looks like he has a raven as well to try to detect for those burrowed infestors but at this point if we check the army tab it is 110 to 90 2800 to 1600 and those ultras are popping a few at a time they just take so long to build 70 game seconds and as they do pop the army tab of Spanishua just going to dwarf the Terran player it looks like Renewal going to try to get up this third and this is actually I believe his main command center so not even spending the extra four, uh, 400 or 550 minerals on another orbital command and he's going to try to defend against this push he realizes it's coming and in come the ultras they're going to be able to take all this tank fire all this bio fire out of position a little bit with these units and now the blue flame hellion is going to do their best to clean up those lings the lings add a lot of dps to this group if the infestors coming in here if they can get some good fungal curves going down on all those marines and the marines really have to focus down these ultras they've got that two armor already along with the one natural armor so they're very difficult to take down as another neural parasite goes down on that tank saw spanishua focusing down that tank before it even dropped out a neural parasite and now we've got these four ultras along with these infestors just wrecking house in renewal's base and we've got the chitinous plating along with three more and uh ultras as well as a number of links coming out as well and Renewal asking, how many bases are you on? I thought I did a great job. I killed your main. I killed two of your spawning pools. How are you able to come back with this huge army? But basically, Vile Spanishua reset that game after he defended against those Marines. He had a ton more drones than Renewal. And even Renewal's second push, when he did push out with siege tanks, was well defended. Perfectly timed fungals came out when those, with those infestors. He was able to take down all those Marines. And when you do that, those tanks are naked. And the Terran player has to pull back and then continuing to use those infestors to take map control from the Terran player. Anytime he tried to push out into the middle, 
and take the map. In came the fungal growths, in came the infested Terran, down went the tanks, and Renewal just had to pull back once again. And Spanishua's build gets very, very powerful once it gets on tier 2, once it gets on tier 3. And the Ultras, the Infestors, and those Lings with 2-2 upgrades were able to destroy Renewal in this late game. So very interesting response by Spanishua at the start. That was a 4-rex that's very difficult to hold off with most, most builds, let alone a build where you forego making almost any Lings at all. So those queens, those drones, those spine crawlers, and those lings were able to defend in that early going and win Vile Spanishua the game here. If you're looking for more Spanishua or StarCraft II action, make sure you check out my channel, Matron StarCraft. All week long, I'm going to be bringing Vile Spanishua games in all the matchups, ZVP, ZVT, and ZVZ. So look forward to that. Look forward to seeing you there. Again, this has been a cast for Force Strategy Gaming. Thanks for watching this one. Take care.